Hey guys, Crystal here from Elite Hair Care USA. So today my client got a relaxer and we are starting the process of styling. So what I'm doing right now is I am blowing her hair out. She actually has already been dried about, uh, I'd say about 90% of the way. So what I'm doing is just straightening it out a little bit with the blow dryer. Of course, I do not like to blow dry sopping wet hair. So a pro tip when you are trying to get a very straight metal part is you can start at the tip of the nose and run your comb all the way up the forehead and through the hair and that typically will bring you to the center part. Now just a moment ago, you saw me lifting up my client's hair because I noticed that the um, area between the occipital bone and the crown was severely, well not severely, but was a little broken. And I was asking her, was she going to get a trim or were we doing a cut? So a lot of stylists do not know the difference between a trim and a cut. And that leaves room for scissor happy people. And I'm one of those people where I know when to draw the line. But I like to always ask my client, you know, consult with them first just to make sure that we have the same outlook at the end of the day. So she did tell me that she was more say wanting to just get a trim and that hair would just grow out. So of course I'm going to agree with my client and just give her exactly what she wanted. So what I'm doing right now is I am actually silking the hair out and I, well, I'm not gonna say I'm silking. I'm actually kind of like just giving her a slight bump with the flat iron at the same time of me silking her because she already has a relaxer. So I'm not really in need of a silk more say but of course I want it to be a little bit straighter than normal and I'm doing it this way so that I'm able to trim her hair you know and just give her just basically a light dusting of the ends which is really what a trim is so the flat iron that I'm using is our one inch Mac Pro Styler flat iron and then I'm also using YS Park combs those combs are really really nice i am not getting paid to advertise them but i actually like them and i think that they're quality combs for any stylist to use while they are a little more on the expensive side it is definitely worth it because they're heat resistant up to i think about 425 degrees but don't quote me on that so i'm almost done with the silking phase of this um part of the style now if you notice her hair is a little bit broken towards the front which that comes sometimes with the territory and it's not all the time that we can just jump and say oh I'm gonna do a corrective cut or a custom cut you have to go along with what your client wants at the same time so I'm not gonna to mess with um, fixing the areas that might be broken or shorter than those until she is actually ready so what I'm going to do is just trying to kind of layer her slightly just to get everything to blend because right now nothing is blending and then whenever the time is right or when she decides to make a change then we will go directly into um, the custom corrective cut so you guys will get to see what a light dusting of the ends <laughs> really is and then at the same time with any trim she's not going i'm not going to say she's going to lose a lot of length but the goal is of course to make her hair even so I brought you guys a little bit closer to my client because I want you to see how to eliminate frizzy hair when you are flat ironing your hair or your client's hair. So what you do is you start at the root and you maintain a steady tension on the flat iron until the last piece of hair falls out of the iron. The reason for this is if you don't maintain that tension at the end, you either get fish hooks or the hair is very frizzy and then that requires you to go back over the hair multiple times, sometimes more than once. Now in the crown of the head, uh, right where your mole is, is typically the most resistant part of the head. So you'll see me go back through with my iron and lightly tap that area just to kind of get it to lay down a little bit more. And then I use my comb and comb it down to just mold it in place. So I'm really just setting the hair with my comb after I have done what I needed to do with the flat iron. So that is the easiest way to eliminate fish hooks. That is also the easiest way to keep that hair nice, silky and shiny at the same time while you are silking or styling your hair. So definitely try that at home. You will see a major difference. 
Now we're about 85% done with our silk. So I'm gonna let you guys continue watching us do the silk out and then we will go into our trim. Okay guys, so now it's time for our trim and I am using a Cricut cutting comb and my six inch shears. Now what I'm doing is I started right at the, um, between the crown and the occipital bone. Some people start in different places, but it, it's not really a more say roadmap to this. Now in cosmetology school, of course they tell you to divide the hair into five sections and all this good stuff. When you become a little more skilled, you don't have to do it that much or that way. But there is one thing that I can definitely say is very important when you are cutting or trimming any client's head. Ensure that you are trimming the hair in the shape of the head. Keep in mind, the head is the size of an orange or the shape of an orange. It is not a square. So you want to ensure that when you are trimming, you are trimming the hair like you are peeling an orange slice. And that will keep the hair blended. It will also keep you from, or alleviate hard lines, more say, and it will blend the hair a lot better. You will notice the hair flows a lot better and it won't take you as long to do a trim. So I have literally completed her trim in less than two and a half minutes. Easy, easy. That is a trim, guys. It does not take you 45 minutes to do a trim unless you're one of those people where you're always um, trying to perfect the hair. So at this point guys, we're just giving her a basic bump. If you notice, I'm not doing too much feathering. All I'm doing is going around the head and just using our one inch Mac Pro Styler just to seal the cuticle bump at the end and just that's going to be like a basic style not everyone wants feathers and not everyone is ideal in regards to their haircut or style for feathering that's why i did not give her the feathering because i know at the end of the day what i have to work with with my client's hair so i'm going to use our um, rat tail wide tooth comb just to comb her down and just to keep the hair nice and flat with that little bump at the end I sprayed a little bit of gloss on her and that's really it guys this is a basic style a basic wrap style um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel don't forget to thumbs up this video and thank you guys so much for watching I'll see you guys in the next video bye